Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and we are back for part two of Resident Evil Village. Now, this is of course where we left off in part one, and I did promise you guys that I'd be doing a double upload to celebrate the launch day of Resident Evil Village. Of course, the game does come out tomorrow. This is an early access copy from Capcom, so, you know, again, a big thanks to Capcom for providing this. But you guys are watching my part one currently while I record this, so I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, in part two, we've just got inside this castle, Castle Dimitrescu, or Dimitresk, depending on how we pronounce it. And yeah, we're going to actually try and find a tall lady and her daughters in this video and see, you know, where the story goes next. So yeah, without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's uh, get, our, get our gun to the ready and head on back into the castle. Here we go in the old grand hall. We've got a door up here. Can we go through this? Nope, that's uh, shut tight. What about this? Examine. Masks for angels, blinded gaze. Oh, I couldn't read that. This isn't good. Oh no, the sisters. Delectable sisters. Oh, savage! Straight in. Man, blood. They're ravenous guys. That would really hurt. I think we're gonna make. I think we're gonna meet Lady Dimitrescu. I think that's probably where we're being taken right now. You guys that wanted to see tall lady. Get Mother, ready, you're gonna see her. I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> there she is. There she is, guys. Ah, now. And she is indeed let's tall. Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. Hello. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Yes. Let's see how special you are. Okay. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to go well for us, guys. Hmm. Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, <laughs> daughters. First, I must they all look the same. Miranda. But later, well. There will be enough for everyone. She's quite um, intense. Put him up. What do you mean, put him up? Unhand me. <laughs> it's hoisting us up. What the heck? Oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I wish you'd let me down. Where are they going? They like to play around, don't they? They like to have fun with their man prey. That's quite the entrance from the Vampire Sisters and uh, Lady Dimitrescu herself. Wait, how do we get down off this thing? Are you kidding me? Can I, like, wriggle free? Um, hello? Guys, this isn't funny anymore. Uh, there's got to be something we can do. Let's, 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 let's look up. Look at our hands. They're just skewered. Oh, we can free ourselves. Oh, my God. Is he going to pull it through his hand? Please, no. Oh, my God, he did. He actually did. That would absolutely kill. That would be so painful. You crazy witches. I love how he just carries on. <laughs> it's like nothing happened. There you go, a little bit of that will uh, heal you right up, I'm sure. Well, that was quite the entrance from Tall Lady Guys. And you've seen her now. And, um, yeah, she was very formidable. A crimson glass. Nice. 
I think that's a treasure. They pulled this thing and hoisted us up. We need to get out of here now. So, let's have a look around. Some fruits. Can we get through here? Nope. I do remember this from a demo. I think we can um, actually go through here. Through this little fireplace. There's like a little hidden panel. Because of course this is the area from the second demo that we played. Little rats. I don't mind rats. They don't freak me out too much. What is this? Some rusted scrap. I'll take it. A maroon eye ring. There we go. Okay, let's head through. Secret doorways in the castle. I wish we could put that suit of armor on. It might protect us a little bit. Because at the moment, you know, we're pretty light on protection. Where have they taken Rose? Yeah, where have they taken Rose? What are all these things coming up? Kind of looks like we can put stuff in these. So there's examine. There's like little slots in each one. See who's in here. We've got the Duke. Oh, Look at him. We meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers. Would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? <laughs> he's I love how he's always trying to sell us stuff. You know, we're looking for our daughter. We've just been, like, ah, sliced to yes, ribbons. Yes. And he's like, oh, do you want to buy something? Go on, man, I let's have a look. I procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. We can sell this, at least. And buy it, I will. And buy it, I will. I like his little voice. Let's see what the supplies are. So, we can get, oh, high capacity mag, customized war part for the handgun, greatly increases ammo capacity. We can't actually get that. I think I'm going to save our money for now. I don't think we really need anything desperately, guys. What's he doing? Do let me know if you find anything else of value. Sure. His lips weren't in sync then at all. So, let's head on. Let's say goodbye to the Duke for now. Thank you for your uh, custom, my good man. And we will head up into the castle. Look at this hallway. See, this is an impressive looking game. We can't deny it that. This game looks nice. Little teacup. Ugh. Teacup full of blood. Or dried blood, I should say. <coughs> I'm just going to continue to break all their vases because, you know, they haven't been very uh, hospitable towards me. And we need the items, quite frankly, so yeah, let's break some vases. The wine room. Ooh, what's this? Chem fluid? I'll take it. We've got a little note. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitriscu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitriscu, so I think that's Lady Dimitriscu, the, the tall lady, uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavour, intensity, and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. So there we are. Is this the uh, device that's in question? We need to find something to put in this, so we'll remember that for later, guys, so I don't get, like, lost. Uh, anything in there? Nope. Right, let's head on out. <coughs> Getting all the lay by breaking these vases. Some gunpowder. I do wonder if we can craft more shotgun shells now, actually. Let's take a look. No, we don't have quite enough. 
What do we need? Two lots of scrap? I think we've only got one. So as soon as we find some more scrap, we can make shotgun shells. It's kind of spooky, this. Oh, what's that? Just a drawer. An empty drawer. Maybe something in here? Yes, some coin. Right, so we need to put the eye from the ring in here. I remember that again because I played the demo. So I do remember doing that. Now we can hopefully use that on here. Bit grim. Putting an eye in there. It's the sister. I don't know if it's Cassandra or Daniela or... I can't remember the name of the other one. But it's one of the sisters. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Okay, well... You're not going to start with this one. Slice your jugular and just watch. Taken alive, dead, which um, would you prefer? I would prefer to be taken alive and then left to my own devices. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds a bit questionable. Let's pull this down. Where is she? I want to get a good look at her. Look at it. She's enjoying it. Oh, no. I didn't expect her to do that. Okay, I'm going to run. The more scared you are, the thicker Okay, well, we escaped you, so haha. <laughs> Man, she just zoomed into the camera, <laughs> like straight up. I was not expecting that. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Alina, made the mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Oop. Yeah, that would be a red flag for me. I'd be out of there. <laughs> and at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now, they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. So, something about the wind and the outside these vampire ladies do not like. And maybe we can exploit that in order to sort of destroy them. Oh, and we've got scrap. So we can now make the shotgun ammo. Yes. Nice. Let's load up that shotgun. I like it. Right, through the hole we go then. There is the lady of the house herself. Olsina. I believe her name is. That's a big ass. She's just gone through the door. Okay. Um... We won't try and follow her through there. Look at that hand just sticking out the barrel. All right, let's head on downstairs. Oh, we've got a, uh, a breakable object. Some more coin. And here we go. Now, I remember how to do this puzzle. Again, this part is in the demo. We're near the end of where the demo takes place now, but we have to basically hit this um, into the two little braziers either side, and it opens up a wall like that, as you can see. Nice classic Resident Evil puzzle there. It's very dark. There we go, that's better. A little bit of light. It's covered in dried blood. Well, that doesn't sound good. I'm going to try and explore all the rooms so we can get any items we might be able to find. Look at these different torture devices. Look at that one. Imagine having those drilled through your eyes. We've got this, like, spiky chair. Like, just imagine sitting on that thing. I do not relish the idea of being uh, subjected to some of these machines. And I feel sorry for all the people that were, like, experimented on down here. Sounds like the maids. Yeah, look, candidates, Irina, Makila, Lois, Ingrid, 
And then there were Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camellia, Bianca, etc, etc. So they were basically sort of seeing who was suitable to, uh, I don't know, sate their ravenous appetite for blood. And if they weren't suitable, they would probably just kill them, I imagine. I mean, they probably killed them anyway, but... I'm guessing they, like, tortured them to get the blood to be, like, the right thickness and stuff, like they were talking about earlier. So Irina has a robust appetite. Mahela has a robust appetite. Lois has a robust appetite. And Ingrid is unstable and overtly alert at times. So Ingrid was a problem for them. Look, they've got all this stuff on the wall, like... I don't know, it's like research. So they were researching, I guess, into blood and methods of, like, extracting it to, the, to get the best bouquet. Oh, God. Okay, game. Try your jump scares at me. What is this thing? Metal scrap? That must be, like, you know, the next tier on the scrap only fans. You get the, uh, the metal scrap. It's, like, Patreon tier 3 or something. Oh, look. Zombie things with swords. All right, we're gonna shoot them, guys. We have to. Some action. Finally, a little bit of action again. All right, we got one. I don't know if we should kill all of these guys or not. I feel like I kind of want to kill them. Because, you know... They might drop some good loot. Look at those headshots I was getting there, guys. Racking up. The headshots like nobody's business. What's this? Crystal skull? Ooh, I bet we can sell this to the Duke. Get some properly good coin for that. What is this? Oh, there's one in there. We need to increase the rate of fire on this pistol. That should be our priority number one right now, because, let me tell you, that pistol is slow. Pipe bomb? That sounds good. Okay, let's use the pipe bomb. Actually, do you know what? We could use the mine. I'm going to use the mine, guys. Oh. Okay, I wanted to get a little bit further away from it before it went off there. I don't really want to use my shotgun and ammo on these guys either because they're not actually that hard. They're pretty easy. Ingrid's necklace. Ah, oh, so one of these zombie things was Ingrid. The girl from the note. Sorry about that, Ingrid. We didn't know you very well, but we come to understand, you know, that you didn't have a very pleasant final few days. So... At least you're finally put out of your misery, you know? I would rather be dead than living as one of these kind of weird zombie creatures. I can hear someone else. Oh, it's this thing. Don't you wave your sword at me, mister. Or I should say missus. I think they're all female. Because they're all the... I think these are all like the maids that died. Well, that's my theory on it anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? What's that noise? Oh, they just kind of disintegrate. Okay. Interesting they disintegrate like that because that's how the molded disintegrated in Resident Evil 7. Um, look, we've got another one of these symbols. We saw one of these symbols in the first video. We must need a special type of key to get through these doors, which we don't have yet, so maybe we can come back here later. I can't believe oh no. caused all this mess. We've got another sister. Sister number two. Hello. What's your names? Are you Daniela? Because I think we've met Cassandra a little bit earlier. Which tools do you prefer? Um, I don't know. I need to get this stuff. It wasn't worth it. All right, we're going to have to blast her. Right, go. That's actually well done. We just blasted her out the way. I don't think we can kill her, but we can shoot her out the way. Shotgun shells. Nice. She's coming for us. We need to go. Ooh, we can get through here. Where are you going, little one? 
Oh no. I'm just gonna pop to the toilet for five minutes. Bullets cannot harm. Sunlight. Sunlight kills them. Yeah, because they're vampires. No wonder. Stupid man thing! Now we can take her on. Oh god. She's actually savage. What? My body! It's breaking! Yeah, your body sucks now. Oh, your hands. We have to actually block. This can't be! Sorry, oh, but you're going down. Your teeth at us. Man, this is bad. This is bad. Heal. Heal, Ethan, heal. Oh. Uh, there we go. Have it. Take it. Is she dead? Did we get her already? We did. Look at that. We actually killed her. Take that, you stupid idiot. <laughs> the best one-liner ever by Super Horror Bro there. I didn't know what to say, guys. I was flustered, you know. She came for us, and I was kind of overwhelmed, but... That's how you kill a vampire. You shoot the window out, get some light on them, and then their defenses are down. You can plug them full of bullets and that's it. Look at all this meat. They are feasting. What are those things? Little rats or something? Ooh, a vintage bottle of wine. <gasps> Maybe we can put this upstairs in the wine room. <laughs> so Andy's like, God damn it. Yeah, this is, that bottle I think is to go on the little, um, seat for it upstairs so we'll go and sort of place it up there and hopefully unlock a secret area we've got to find our way back up to the top of the castle first what is this little briefcase Ooh, recoil compensator we can equip this to our handgun look at that that's awesome so now our pistol's got a longer nose and it's going to help with our recoil, which is awesome. So, I've got a lockpick. Ooh, but finally the locked, the locked um, drawer in the village can be unlocked now. Or we could just do this one, I suppose. There you go. Little achievement there, petty thief. Wooden angel statue. Nice. Maybe we can sell that to the Duke. Have I been here before? Oh, we have! Look, this is the main hall. We're back to the main hall now. That's awesome. That's locked at the moment. So what I think we're going to do then is go upstairs to the wine room and place that bottle of wine up there. Here we are. So yeah, this is where the wine should go. And just like that, we get a secret room, just as I predicted. What's this? <gasps> key! Courtyard key! Well, we know where that goes, don't we? We're just at the door for it, so we can now access the courtyard. First of all, though, I'm going to go back down to our good old friend, the Duke and sell some of the stuff that we've picked up. Can I smash this, please? There's nothing in them. That was just wanton destruction for no reason. Hello, welcome, Duke. Welcome, You're sure to find something new. Well then, feel free to peruse. Okay, thank you. So, Crystal Skull, that's worth 900. Would have thought it was worth a bit more than that, but never mind. Crystal Torso, ooh. Do we sell that, though? I guess so. I guess we can't really use these items anywhere else. I'm just gonna sell them all. Your coin. We've got so much now, guys. So much I've procured some coin. new items for you, Mr. Winters. Let's have a look at what we can get. So we can get extra baggage for 10,000. Sniper rifle ammo. I don't even have a sniper rifle yet. We can have a recipe for crafting mines. Now that actually might come in useful, guys. I think we should maybe do this. 
uh, yes, just so we can crack can some what you'd be mines in later on. Um, and then... Actually, I'm going to upgrade some weapons now. I'm going to upgrade some weapons. So, shotgun, power, I'm going to upgrade. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Reload speed. Reload speed on a shotgun would be really One good, moment, actually. Please. And then I'm going to go to the pistol next and just upgrade the rate of fire on the pistol. Like Leave we wanted. To me. So there we go. We've actually done Securing quite a lot of work to our guns now. Thank you for your patronage. That's okay. And now we're going to head on to the courtyard and use the courtyard key. I can't believe we've Shall already... Oh, no. It's another daughter. This time, she uh, is probably going to be annoyed if she finds out that we killed her sister. My throat, it's so dry. Well, you're not having our blood, sister. There we go, we've unlocked it. Nice. She was actually quite easy to escape from. We just ran away to the door. But you know what, I'm not going to complain about that. Where do we go next? I mean, look at this courtyard. Let's just admire the visuals of this game for a second. Well, this is a nice looking game. What is this? Do we need a crest? We need something for this special kind of key, I think. This is the cool thing about Resident Evil games is they always open up more as you go through them. So, you know, I'm sure we'll be back to this location. There's a big gate there. There's some doors here as well. Oh, there's the lady of the house again, going up the stairs. This is like her private sort of wing of the house, I guess. I'm kind of scared, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually a little bit freaked out right now. It's all right. We've got our gun. We'll just make sure that no tall ladies are coming for us. Man, look at all the gold they have in their house. If they ever kind of ran out of money or couldn't pay the bills, they could just like take some of these wall panels and sell them and they'll be rich again. What have Whoa. you done to my daughter? I, uh, I didn't mean to. We, we, we were trying to just escape, you know? And she kind of, she took it to the next level. And then I had to take it to the next level and things escalated. What is this? Is this like a pool of blood to bathe in? We actually are bathing in the blood. That is nuts. So disgusting. A little Texas Ranger or something there. Oh, we can turn the statue. Right, what, what was the point of that? Maybe if we look at these pictures, it's like a clue. Or maybe it's just this note. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. So what does that mean? Women are blind to male advice advances, so the women turned away from the males, but the poor shall take their chances. So the poor turn towards the women to give the lord their bounty sown. So, oh man, I don't know. Okay, so let's have a look. So where are the poor? So this is the poor here, I think. The poor shall take their chances. Okay. Let's see where we can turn the poor. Maybe to the woman with the wine? Or maybe... The poor to the guy on the horse. And then... This is confusing. I, I, don't, I don't quite understand it. Maybe I turn the lady towards the uh, woman with the wine. Then we would need to turn the guy on the horse away from the woman. <gasps> we did it! I'm not going to lie, that was luck. I didn't fully know what I was doing there. And now I think... Oh, yeah, we can just go down. Sweet. Well, I don't think we really want to be going down here. But, like, we have to, so screw it, we'll go. 
I mean, Lady Lady D is not happy with us <laughs> after we killed her daughter. And I still don't know which daughter we killed. Look, there's another one of these goats here as well. I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to destroy as many goats as I can. What the hell? What is that? Yeah, this is like some weird ass torture room and this whole thing is blood. Some rusty scrap. Oh my god. Is that gonna try and grab us? He didn't come back out. They're not gonna run out of blood anytime soon. Look at all this. Oh, okay. I thought you were hiding in there somewhere. There we go, a crystal skull. That'll come in handy. It does really remind me of Resident Evil 4, this game. And I like that. That's, that's definitely a compliment. I'm getting good at killing these things. Okay. Maybe uh, move around a little bit. Boom. There we are. <sighs> we got them. What the heck? Look at all these torsos hanging, man. This is nuts. Oh, hey! You just want to dive out of the blood again? I got you. There you go. This um, upgraded gun feels really nice, by the way. Like, the, the weapons at the start of a game feel a bit naff. Once you start upgrading them, they feel, like, way better to fire. Okay, some more of you. I'm not going to use that gun, actually. We shot the, uh, the knife out of their hand. We're, out We're actually getting low on ammo. Come on. Some of these bullets don't feel like they're hitting. Okay, this isn't good. I'm gonna slash him. Another crystal skull. Okay, get in there quickly. A few slashes. Got no ammo for my pistol. I'm not wasting a shotgun shot on this guy. No need, you know? No need to waste shotgun ammo on these little minions. Just slice him. There we go. Maybe we can craft some more handgun ammo, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can. We can craft quite a lot of handgun ammo, actually. So there we go. There's a lot of boots knocking about as well. See if anyone else wants to say hello to the end of my barrel. Ooh, there. You do, don't you? You want to say hello? Look at that shooting. That is some Texas ass shooting right there. Some more handgun ammo. I feel like we didn't fully explore around like the ladies quarters, but I kind of wanted to get out of there because she was wailing about her daughter being killed and obviously we were the culprit there. Wow, look at the view. That is crazy. So good. We were down there earlier, if you remember, guys. That's the uh, bell tower. And then look over there, you can actually see the windmill, which I think is probably a location we'll go to later in the game. This game's so huge. Oh. Got a phone ringing. There she is, look. The lady of the house. Don't mind me, guys. Only joking. Look at that reflection in the glass as well. It's nuts. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. 
because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... I'm literally outside your window, by the way. No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. So we're involved in this ceremony somehow. And I wonder if Chris Redfield oh, knew about oh. that. To okay. hell with the ceremony! That was, uh, that she's got some strength. will pay for what he's done. She's going rogue. She's going against Mother Miranda's wishes. That is not good for us. Because if she's not scared of Mother Miranda, who's meant to be this, like, all-powerful goddess to them, then she's certainly not going to be scared of old Ethan Winters, you know? And I guess we've got to go inside, though. She literally just picked up her dresser and chucked it across the room. And it's made of, like, gold or something. We were all called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of a child's father. So that, I think they're talking about Ethan here, and this is obviously written by Lady Dimitrescu. Or Dimitrescu. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I am treated like a sister to these miscreants. Especially Heisenberg. That riffraff wouldn't know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughters, everlasting life, did she not? And am I not her favourite? Am I not special? I need a drink. So yeah, she's like, really sort of entitled. Is this where Rose was? Where are you? Yeah, it must have been, right? Okay. We're coming for- we're coming to find you, Rose. We're coming to find you. Oh my god, I thought that dress was her then. That scared the life out of me. Look how tall she is. Like, Ethan, let's say, is about six foot. She must be at least nine feet, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, the key is up here. Nice. This is probably going to give us, like, access to so many different rooms now. Because, look, it slides right in there. Oh, oh shit. hello. Hey. You're pretty big, All aren't you? This for a child who isn't even here. What the hell do? Uh, oh no! You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house. You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters, and now you even try to steal my property. How dare! <laughs> She's literally just grinding us into the floor. Rest while you can. Because I will hunt you, and I will break you! The hunt is on. Go ahead, do your worst. Don't egg her on, Ethan. Come on, man. Use just some common sense. I know you're a hothead, but... I do like how Ethan is a bit more, like, uh, manly in this game. You know, a bit more um, assertive and stuff. A bit more of an alpha male. In Resident Evil 7, he was kind of like a timid little thing. At least in the first half of the game. Right, so we've got something to open a gate. I think we're going to have to watch our six, so to speak, here because Mother Miranda is going to be chasing us. Look, we've got an... Ah, oh, maybe we have to open and close these gates to, like, trap her or something. Because it seems like it's giving us a lot of gate. Ooh. Oh, my God. What the... Oh, shit. What the hell? Let you get away. She cut her hand oh, off. Are you kidding me? To ribbons. Before you ever see Guys, how have we lost our hand again? We lost you our hand. what it means to insult in the last game. What do I do? Hello? Um, Alright, I'm going this way. Oh no, she's coming this way. Holy crap. Okay, so... I can't even heal myself. My right arm is unusable. I got my hand back. Right, let's get out of here. Severed hand. Look, that's Ethan's hand, guys. I still can't heal. Great. Please, be a bit quicker. We've got to run, guys. We have got to run. She is after us. You wanted this. You wanted to see the tall lady. Now you're seeing her. I hope you're all happy. Because <laughs> I'm terrified right now. Is she coming for us still? Oh, 
Oh my god, I think she is. Let's get out, let's get out. Demetrius Key, key come on. Please, faster. Alright, what is this? Oh, Mask of Sorrow, I'll take it. Oh, we've actually... I think we've got away. Well, it's getting us out of your uh, clutches for a little bit. Can we reattach our hands with the magic of the uh, healing thing? That's insane. Like, Resident Evil's got so silly these days. <laughs> like, I know that was a thing in 7 to be able to reattach your limbs with the um, like healing solution. But, come on now. Good. Man, screw this castle. I didn't expect that to happen, I'm going to be honest. Wait, who is that? Oh, okay, we've got more of these guys. We have to get this guy out of the way, and then we can hopefully use the key over there on that door. There we are. There we are, there we are. That was actually crazy, guys, meeting Lady Dimitris and, you know, just that whole sequence was awesome. I'm absolutely in love with this game. It's a brilliant Resident Evil. I thought that was her claws then. It was a potted plant. That's how on edge this game has got me right now. It's locked from the other side. Great. Okay. Um, oh, can we open this? Castle map annex. Okay, cool. Okay, let's head on back upstairs then. I don't think we've explored this area at all, so... It's all gonna be new, and we're gonna have to hope that the lady of the house does not reappear. Please be aware the mistress's lipstick is missing. If anybody finds it, could they please return it to her bathroom? It is custom made and therefore very expensive. And that's from a grand chambermaid. And we've got some handgun ammo, which is good. Wait. What's that noise? I don't think we've got the key for that. No, we need a different key for that lock. What's this? A little storybook. One day since treatment. The three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew out of one of the elders' mouths. It appears to be a common fly. Two days since treatment, all three bodies covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. I wonder if this is talking about like the three vampire sisters. When I opened the window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. I quickly closed the window to avoid weakening the insects further. Four days since treatment, all three bodies have almost been completely consumed by the insects. All that is left is a dark, writhing, human-shaped mass of creatures. It is just after noon, and the insects have started to change colour. Those around the face turned pale, and those around the lips turned a deep crimson. Six days since treatment, the mass of insects has transformed into human bodies again. All three girls awoke, looking at me like newborns. I sensed a bond between us, like mother and daughters. I have already decided their names. Bella, Daniela, and Cassandra. So yeah, this is basically um, the sort of lady, Lady Dimitriscu, she basically had these three women killed and then experimented on them and brought them back as these newly formed women who were made up from like flies or essentially like flies were like bonded to them and they became the vampire daughters, I think. And she basically took them on like, like as her own daughters essentially. But I think they used to be just like normal chambermaids and stuff, like the other sort of victims. Okay, that was really bad. That was awful, that shooting. We got there in the end. Got one here. That was close. Nice. He's down as well. We need to craft some more ammo. The game's even telling us, it's like, hey, you need to craft ammo. So there we go. Ammo has been crafted. What's this? Ooh! Flower Swords Ball. 
So maybe we can use this downstairs where the Duke was in the model. Seems likely, doesn't it? I want to see if there's anything down these stairs. Look at this. A grand piano. Can we do anything with it? Oh wait, have we got to play the notes? Oh, I see. We have to match it up. So you can see that's correct. That's the first one, right? That's wrong. Almost. There we go. We've got two. Oh, no. That's three. We're really looking out with these puzzles, guys. I feel like I'm looking smarter than I actually am here. You might be going, you don't look smart right now, trust me. <laughs> there we go, we did it. A lovely piece of music. How, how lovely is that? And... The Iron Insignia Key. <gasps> Yeah, that's the insignia that was on all of those doors I was wondering about. So now we actually have that key, we can access so many different places. So here's some more about the flies. So, um, similar body structure to blowflies, although there are differences in the head. They are carnivorous and vigorously consume meat. In order to catch unsuspecting prey, they'll gather using pheromones to mimic a human. They are produced when a kadu lays eggs in the host, but the flies themselves are unable to reproduce. They are weak to sudden drops in temperature, especially if the temperature drops below 10 Celsius. Their metabolism lowers and they go into a dormant cryptobiotic state, similar to the cryptobiotics of Terragrade or Polyple... Polypedelium van der Planky? I don't know what that means, guys. I'm sorry, but that's way over my head. That's way above my pay grade. <laughs> I'm not going to understand it. So I think we can go back to the Duke now. We've pretty much got the key that we needed. So I think what I'm going to do is head on back to the Duke. Right, here is the Duke's room. It's a pleasure to see you safe. How were things? Well, I lost my hand. No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? I've expanded my services. Please, um, come take a look. I don't think we need anything from you at the moment, Duke. But what I am going to do is place in the flower swords ball. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, we have to move it around. Ah. Ah, interesting. Oh, go back. No. Okay. Let me know if you need something. Now go. Look at that. Look at that skill. That is skill right there. Oh no, I didn't realize there was holes at the end. Why did I speak so soon? Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes, look at that. We got the ball rolling, as the achievement said. And we got a little bit of fanfare as well. So, I don't know what that's done. Oh, it's got us a crimson skull. Now, is that something we need, or is that literally just so we can sell it to the Duke? You wish to make a purchase? Um, I wish to sell you a skull that is worth um, 8,000 coin. Look at that. Ah! 15,000 guys. We've got we're rolling I in the money. Some new items for you, Mr. Winters. We are rolling in the money right now. So let's see what we want to do with this money. Um we could increase our ammo capacity with a magnum. Oh, increase rate of fire of a shotgun. I'm having that. You'll be slaughtering things in droves. I'll equip it. Look at that. Beautiful. Our shotgun's looking sexy. Right, now let's also upgrade our pistol if we can. Um, ammo capacity. 
delighted to. There we go. So now Thank you for your patronage. We've got some new items. I'm gonna save the game. Right guys, I think before we go away to like a new area, what I actually want to do is explore a little bit more and see if there's any doors that we missed, you know, that we can now get through. Because obviously we've now got two different kinds of keys. I feel like we're probably able to like go around and... I won't last oh. until dinner. That's locked from the other side. Oh my god, she's coming for us. I think this is Cassandra. Hello, Cassandra. Boom. <laughs> it's an inappropriate place to shoot her. Wait, is she actually calling for her mother? Because if she is, we might be in trouble. I want to go through here. Doesn't fit the lock. Okay, well, can we try a different one? What about this one? Yes, that works. Come on. We unlocked it. Ooh. A mask of pleasure. Nice. And there's actually a place to go through there. And I think we're safe again now. Oh, yeah, because, guys, look. When you take a mask out, you can see there's these, like, plug holes in the face. And obviously there were these four statues or maybe, like, three statues downstairs. But I said look like they had battery holes in them. I think what it is is we have to put the masks into... Um... Oh, a silver ring. Nice. I think we have to put the masks into those, like, little pillars that appeared in the um, entranceway downstairs. So we've now got two of those masks. We need to find two more, I think. So what's going on in this room? There's a little thing we can I move. My <gasps> oh no, this isn't good. Pipe bombs. Oh. Get away from me. Cold air's coming in. Can we break it? Oh, guys, I know what to do. We have to equip the pipe bomb. And we need to blow up this. There you go, watch this. Now we can kill her. You've ruined the hunt! Oh, okay. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry about that. Bastard! I'm sorry I ruined the hunt, Cassandra. But I have to kill you. Yeah, your body is being shut down, I'm afraid. No! It's a lie! I like how our shotgun now has like capacity to fire quite quickly. Oh. I need to heal. Guys, we need to craft. Um we need to craft. And we need to heal. There, we're done. You're done now, I've got this. She's actually harder than her sister was. I might use another pipe bomb. There we go. Have another. I think I've got her. Yeah, we did it. Sorry about that. We had to kill you. Crazy witch. <laughs> Crazy witch indeed. Another crystal torso. I like it. We can sell her. I love how we kill her and then we just literally like sell her to the duke <laughs> for a bit of coin <laughs> so disrespectful we've got another lock pick as well nice mounted animal skull can we put that in there oh it says can't use it as it is so let's examine the mounted animal skull wait a second <gasps> ah there we go guys that's how we solve the puzzle so yeah, I spent ages running around and not knowing what to do here. I've come back with the animal skull. We mount that on there. And hey presto, we've now got a way to exit the room and we've got another one of the masks. So we can take that back downstairs. Oh my god. Lady Dimitrescu is right there. She's on the prowl. We've killed two of her daughters now. She's definitely not going to be happy. Where is she? She's going downstairs. What if we just kind of move around quietly? Maybe she's opened the door over here. No, she hasn't. Of course she hasn't. 
Oh, is she coming back upstairs? So we finally. Oh no. <laughs> I think she's found us. Yeah, she has. She's found us. Okay, let's run. Let's run. I don't know where to go. I'm just getting away from that main hall. Can we hide anywhere? I'm going down into the cellar again, guys. I'm going to escape from her. I think there were some places we hadn't checked out down here anyway. So we should be um, able to actually check those out now we've got the key. Look, we've got the... Oh! We've got new enemies. The gun's so much better now, it's powerful and it fires quicker. Plus the ammo capacity is higher. All around, it's just a better weapon. There we go. We can now go through this door with the Dimitrescu key. No, in fact, we don't want that key, we want the... with the Iron Insignia key. Let's go through. Ooh, what is that? We want to access that, but I don't know how. I think, maybe, if we can set fire to this little brazier here, and then light the other one. First we need to blow up the wall here. Look. Nice. We're getting to that coffin, you know. There's probably a mask in there for all I know. Come on. A little bit more. Yes, we got it. Now we just need to knock it into this one. Maybe we need to knock them together, actually. We did it. Finally. There you go. The gate's gone down and we can now access the coffin. Ooh, what's this? An azure eye. I don't know if we need that to be, like as an item to sell or if we're going to need it for a puzzle. But either way, I'm happy to have it. Let's put the mask that we do have in one of these slots. There we go. We've put the mask of sorrow in there. So that one's gone down. I don't like that I can keep hearing the music, you know? Like, where is she? There's another crystal fragment in there. Oh, hello! She's coming through the door. See, there you are. Yep, here I am. But I'm not going to be for long. I can't go back through there. Are you kidding me? Look how tall she is. She has to duck under the door frame. Uh, see you later. See you later. I'm not sticking around. I might check out the shop and see if there's anything we can sell. Oh good, I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. So let's see, we can sell the crystal fragment, the crystal skull, the crystal torso. There's an azure eye that we could sell, but I'm going to keep that in case we need it as an item. So, let's sell those. What are you buying? <laughs> oh. Just something an old friend of mine used to say. I like that. A little Resident Evil 4 Easter egg for you guys there. The merchant's old line. I like the idea that they've been friends, like this guy and the merchant. You know, the Duke and the merchant just like hanging out in a tavern somewhere. Um. Alright, what else do we want? I might just upgrade my guns. One upgrade moment. the ammo capacity of that, um, and maybe upgrade the power of the pistol as well. We'll burn through less ammo that way. Good day then. Good day to you too. Oh, hello. Wait long. I'm going. Wow, she's so powerful. She's actually coming upstairs, guys. This is not good. I'm gonna shoot her. Stupid lady. Okay, that does nothing. 
Where do you think you oh, are? Oh no! That was nuts. That actually really hurt us. Can she come in? Oh, she can't come in. Hello. I'm just gonna run. I can hear those blades snipping at our heels. I'm gonna put the next mask in here. I think the next one goes here. Uh, mask of pleasure, here we go. Is that enough to open the door? No. That hasn't done anything. We've only got two of the masks and she's here. Whoa. I'm going in the uh, save room. You die, you wait out there. Such We're back in the room we started at the start of this play session in. And quite honestly, we've had quite an episode. We've gone around the castle a bit. I think I'm gonna leave it here for now though because I got really stuck for ages on that puzzle trying to figure out where, how to get the second mask. And then so I explored all around the castle. And I think I've shown you a lot of the castle. But in the next episode, we're gonna try and find the two remaining masks, escape from Lady Dimitrescu, kill the final daughter because of course we still got one left and yeah hopefully escape this castle and move on to the next area of the game but i hope you have been enjoying this series so far i've been really enjoying resident evil village i think it's fantastic and i can't wait to play some more of you guys tomorrow there will be daily uploads for this series until we complete it and then of course there'll be a story video explaining the story of the game and a video looking at all the monsters and stuff in the game as well so i hope you will look forward to that With that said guys if you did enjoy today's video remember to leave me a like comment and of course subscribe and i will see you all on the next video